Oh, it's you. Well, they said you'd be coming. How are you? My name's McCracken. Lens McCracken. Ace photo snoop. I photograph crime scenes. It's my gift. Some say it's my curse. Some others curse my gift. You see, I take the pictures. Then, with deductive powers far beyond those of mortal man, I use those same pictures to solve the crime. Sounds easy? <laughs> For me, maybe. If you think it's so easy, maybe you can help me figure out the caper I'm working on right now. The mayor's wife had disappeared. I call it the case of the mayor's missing wife case. Look at these three photos. They should bring the whole mystery into focus. Here's my first clue. It's twisted, but I'll use it in a crunch. Hmm, bad hair transplant? No, but a hairy clue nevertheless. Ah, this clue is much more palatable. Yep, now it's all clear. I have no idea what it is. Well, I guess now all you amateur sleuths have figured it out, right? Yeah, neither have I. But ignorance has never stopped Lens McCracken. Let's try my trusty darkroom computer, the Solutionator. So, here's the first close-up. Did you figure it out? It's a bowl of pretzels. Even more suspicious, they got salt on them. When have you ever seen pretzels with salt on them? Oh, hmm. yeah, all the time. Now let's check out these stick things. It's pretty obvious that the culprit had a brush with the law, because the next clue is a... a hairbrush. And now the coup de grace. These colored balloon things are... Jelly beans! Well, the solution to this crime is so transparent, we looked right through it. At the mayor's party, a bald guy who had no use for the hairbrush discarded it in such a way as to cause him to trip head first into the middle of the jelly beans, leaving a sticky candy-covered residue on his head. So that when he slid into the bowl of pretzels, which adhered to his head in such a manner as to give him the appearance of having a full head of hair, thereby making him irresistible, it caused the mayor's wife to run off with him. Viola, another crime solved. So, it's not as easy as you think, unless you're Lens McCracken, photo snoop. Shiver me timbers! Yo ho ho! Look alive, ye lollygaggers! I am the incredibly dead Captain Bones! I've been sailing the seven seas for an eternity, and I'll tell ya, I'm a born stiff. The only thing that saves me from going stark raven mad is making up math puzzles using nothing but me own bones. Now watch closely, and just do as I say, or I'll surprise the life out of ye. Just watch me, Bones. Let me show you what I mean. Here's a picture of a dog. You try making a better one with nothing but your own bones. If I were to ask you to move only one of me bones, so that afterwards, the dog was facing the opposite direction, could you do it? I hope so. You pillow fluff and softies? Look. You see how easy it is? You move one bone and change the picture. So, here's another puzzle. Thought up over a thousand lonely nights at sea when there was nothing for miles round except me, the stars, and me own bones. <laughs> This time I've made two houses. Can you move only one of me bones so that I've got one house instead of two? Uh, dear, dear. Dear, yes. 
Remember, you can only move one bone. So it'll have to be clues then, will it, you flea-loving parasite? If you ever get around to moving one of me bones, the one house will look different than the two you see now. Let me ask ye, which is better? Two houses in two dimensions are one house in three dimensions. It's not like the roof will cave in if you move one of me bones. Arr, if I were dead already, you'd be killing me right now. Look! See it now, do ya? I should hope so, ya easy listening, tap dancing sissies! Go on home, ya cowards! You wish ya a bone voyage! <laughs> You know, we can learn a thing or two from even the most uh, peculiar people. Observe. Hello, revolting slob. We'd like to teach our viewers a few more new words. Sure. Well, thank you, revolting slob. We won't take up much time. Well, revolting slob, you're in an awfully good mood today. How nice, you're blowing kisses. Who's the lucky gal? <coughs> well, yes, anyway, is the revolting slob A, flouting, B, flirting, or C, floating? Yeah. The correct answer is B, flirting, which means to make all goo-goo at someone you like. <laughs> Well, now, this is a change. I'm a little afraid of you when you get like this. Well, is the revolting slob A, aghast, B, agog, or C, aggressive? The correct answer is C, aggressive, which means intimidating and threatening behavior. No! Well, revolting slob, you seemed that way a very short minute ago. No! Yes, I'm afraid you did. No! Yes, yes, yes! No! Oh, oh so disagreeable. <laughs> well, everyone, is the revolting slob A, contradicting, B, decimating, or C, extrapolating? <laughs> The correct answer is A, contradicting, which means if I say yes, you say no. Well then, shall we review? Uh, yes. All those kissing sounds mean you're flirting with me. Unfortunately, something has changed your mood and now you've become quite aggressive. I say you are, but you say you're not. You are contradicting me. Well, I've had quite enough for today, so try these new words out on somebody the next chance you get. Oh, and by the way, decimating, it means wiping out or destroying completely. No slobs or cats were harmed during the filming of this show.